Welcome, Capricorn, to your spooky reading. My name is Angel. I am the owner of Akashic Affirmations. I am a psychic medium. Uh, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, we're going to get you uh, a today's prayer. I'm going to use my uh, Love and Romance deck as well as the Santa Marte in remembrance of me uh, or in behalf of me on behalf of me I'm going to use the uh, the Moonology as well as uh, this is I had a person up on my um, this is Titania's fortune cards a friend of mine gave that to me um, from the UK, and uh, it's a Leah Norman deck. So, uh, let's see exactly what comes through for you, Capricorn. Now, I have uh, meditated on your cards and prayed. So let's see what is going on in your energy, Cappies. You're getting the book, the mouse, the cross, the anchor, the mountain, ooh, the clover, and the fox. We will get to that in a second. Hmm. But your uh, your Bible verse, your uh, your channeled message is Ephesians, and it was uh, two ten. Hang on, two ten. For we are product of His work, and we were created in union with Christ Jesus. For good works, which God prepared in advance for us to walk in them. Oh, beautiful. That was beautiful. You know, you can't help but just know that the Word of God speaks the truth and it gets to our hearts. Mm. Now, Sag. I mean, Capricorn, you could be dealing with Sagittarius um, or on the cusp. But when we get the book with the mouse, this is um, about thinking about expanding um, your studies in a way. Maybe because um, you're having the cross, okay, uh, coming in after the mouse. Now, this is about anxiety in your life. Um, with the anchor coming in right after the cross this is all about your job opportunities panning out in your favor so you may be thinking about going back to school uh, broadening your education to um, to release some of this anxiety um, that is going on in an avenue of your life at this time um, maybe work is not panning out quite as you planned. Um, you have the mountain coming in. But this is about problems ending well. So they may have been uh, something that uh, came into your arena because you're getting the clover. This um, means good luck in the avenue of your financial opportunities or goals now the fox coming in right after the clover this is about job opportunities heading your way so you may have um, wanted to go back to school and advance your education but I see that some opportunities are um, heading your way uh, let's see we don't exactly know how 
if this reading is going to clarify this reading or not. But sometimes it does. Sometimes it takes on a mind of its own. So let's see. For Capricorn. King of Swords, Three of Pentacles. So you're making a head over hard decision using your mind to fundamentally build. You're getting the uh, Two of Swords here. So this has been a decision of you. Which way do you progress? What is going to make you? stand in your life's purpose temperance like i said could be dealing with a sag now either way this is tempering your situation and i did see that when it come to all of a sudden your reading jumped uh with the leah norman duck from hoping to job opportunities now i see that you uh, it could have been some time that you have uh, dedicated to your field and I want to say now is your time for a pentacles you are holding this and building up your little minions in your environment so they can work for you to build because you're going from the three to the four ten of pentacles so you went from the four to the ten so you held on and now you're getting everything you want by transforming see that butterfly nine of cups which is a standalone energy nines or an independent kind of energy this is a wish fulfillment and i see that you have all of your cups bottled up and just waiting to be used you've acquired them and there's a high priestess so this is a wish fulfillment that you knew that if you took the time and patience with yourself to build up your repertoire that you knew things were going to be exactly the way you wanted them to be. You knew that if you gave your time and dedication and had the patience to build that things were going to go into your favor see all you had to do was have the strength um, now I do see in this masked man here that he has tamed that beast so there's something that you um, might ha have had to overcome with yourself your intuition was telling you that you had to tame this this beast and be the master of your own actions and I want to say you know it's kind of like I got this I I'm standing in my power now charge you're going after what you want the devil the ace of wands 
if this is not a transformation with from bonded to taken your you're doing things action oriented for yourself I knew that you had to tame that beast and it could have had something to do with addictions but the you're taking a new initiative for yourself making things grow by taking the action that was needed you are reawakening a part of yourself that was dead by learning how to call in what is meant to be yours instead of I want to say drinking all of your emotions but either way it seems like you want to call in a king or you're tackling the king of cups here bottom of the deck something unexpected look at her look at her she's pregnant so this is the birth of a new idea Capricorn this is loving yourself reawakening a part of yourself that was lie that was not seen Let's use the monology. What else would you like to tell Capricorn? Capricorn. The answers you need are coming. I see you set your sights on a destination. It's time to release the negativity in your life. You had to release it. Now you're getting the answers that you deserve, that you've been seeking. Look, again, what do you need to release? That's the second card. The answers you receive by releasing all negativity and you asking yourself, what else is there I need to release? Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. It's time to stop withholding who you really are. Release what no longer serves you and step into your power, Capricorn, because a win-win outcast is for win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon and Libra, last card is the end of a tough cycle approaches, and there you stand, Capricorn. In all of your glory, when you release all negativity. Anything that you cannot look up and say, God, is this good for me? Oh, believe me, you're going to get an answer. The right answer. The one that really you deserve to hear. The one you des your yourself deserves. Let's get you, um, oh... What else do you have to say for Capricorn? This is my love and romance stuff. And I have some fun things coming for y'all. And I know 
I'm going to make y'all cry. It's all in good fun, right? It's not done and you know it. You, we have heard your call. So you might have tried to put something down. And the angels are here to say, we, we, we are listening and we're going to help you with this. My heart. <laughs> Guys, I wish you would call me. This is about someone you haven't spoken to. Some big energy. Someone maybe big in stature. It's the shape of you. They may be like big and voluptuous. Someone that you want to call you. They have your heart. It's been a secret. Let me help you with this. It was upside down in my deck, and I did not even know it. So let me help you with this. I don't think that you really wanted help. It's been a secret. Keys to the kingdom. Bottom of the deck. Freedom is the key. Hmm. All right, guys, we will be on to Treasures of Takashi, which is your affirmation. And I'll pull you one from the uh, Daily Guidance from Doreen Virtue. Daily Guidance from the Angels. Sorry about the noise. I got a little one. Uh, risk. Risk being yourself. Risk having fun. Risk loving. Risk living. That's what I'm doing. Life is full of risks. Nothing is guaranteed. Risks are easy when you trust yourself and flow. But do not take physical risks at this time. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Give a new idea a go. Take a chance on something new. Change your routine. Be different. And um, guys, you know it is. It's all about risks that we take. Um, think about me. I, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, how can I go on camera looking dead? That's a risk. Let me tell you, that's a risk. I know I don't look dead every day. All right, we're going to get you your daily guidance from your angels. Archangel Michael, help me decide which is the best. Place your fingers on my fingers. Be adventurous, right? Be adventurous. Slow down. Okay, you sometimes resist change because the unknown seems uncomfortable. Yet learning and growing are two earthly experiences that your soul craves. Although you may feel awkward in the face of novelty, there is also excitement in confronting it. Be adventurous today and explore something new. Sign up for an interesting class. Contact someone you admire. Travel to an unfamiliar destination. Go for a hike or plan an exotic holiday trip. Push your boundaries to the point of acceleration. Exhale. 
exhilaration. Feel alive. Exhilaration. You'll admire yourself for taking courageous steps. Like me. <laughs> doing. Because doing so increases your self-esteem. And furthers your, self, your sense of confidence. These feelings will support you in following through with your life purpose. Since you'll realize that you truly are qualified and able to bestow blessings in meaningful ways. Slow down. Trying to stuff too many items into a closet only results in frustration. And it's the same way when you overschedule yourself. To combat potential problems, go faster and focus on just getting through your day's activities instead of enjoying them. So you go faster and focus. Okay. That's why we angels are guiding you to break the cycle by enjoying a slow day. Take a leisurely dance that invokes deep feelings. Allow your decreased pace to reconnect you with the richness within each moment. For instance, enjoy the smiles you elicit as you allow someone to go ahead of you in line. Wave to let in, in other drivers waiting to exit a parking lot and let other people talk while you listen. Take your time and notice any differences between your mood today and the way you normally feel. Remove your watch, cover up the clocks and calendars, and enjoy the timelessness that is the nature of the universe. And my affirmation is, I am adventurous. I walk through the doorways of courage and enter a new world of wonder and awe. I discover that I have nothing to fear, for my explorations lead me to treasure chests that have always existed inside of me. I slow down and notice the details and pleasures of my life. I delight in allowing others to go ahead of me and I feel compassion for those who are scurrying to get things done. I drain my sense of childhood awe as I venture into timelessness. <laughs>